Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and happy Friday to you. It's Friday, November 2nd, and this is a little bit more informal than I usually am, but wanted to let you know that our Anatomy of a 30 Second Short Volume 2 is now available for like an instant download, but got a surprise for you. Uh, we did not go immediately to our $25 price. We are going to hold it at $15 for the next couple of days. I think Monday is going to be the last day. And for the first 50 orders, you can still get the pre-order bonus of how to animate robots. And that's featuring uh, some of the artwork of uh, my good buddy, Chris Cartledge. And just had to let you know that. And, oh, one other thing. Are you a fan of ours on Facebook? If you're not, dude, you got to check this out. Uh, just simply go to, where is that? Facebook.com slash Tony Teach 2. Okay? Like Tony Teach and the number 2. Uh, anyway, uh, what we're doing is uh, we're bringing back our Facebook Fan $5 Fridays. What does that mean? Well, dude, it means that we are offering... Uh, something that we normally sell for about maybe 10 bucks. Uh, this week we're actually going to, uh, we're releasing our Toon Boom Animate Bomb Explosion tutorial. And it's normally 10 bucks, but today and today only you can get it for five bucks. And we're doing that one to actually get more fans on Facebook, get more people to know about Tony Teach, as well as those little donations. We like to try to keep money or keep uh, things as low priced or free as possible. But these little five dollar things help keep our doors open. So trust me, um, my goal is to get as many followers and fans as possible. The more fans and friends we have, uh, the lower we can keep our prices. Uh, I'm not a fan of actually having you break the bank just to learn some stuff. So we also have some free stuff. Uh, speaking of free stuff, enough about the pay stuff. So oh, last, last little thing. Uh, we've got, again, our anatomy of a 30 second short is now available as well as check us out on Facebook for the $5 Fridays. And with that being said, let's actually animate something. Let's let's give you something free here. Um, I'm going to do what I always teach. Uh, one of the first things I teach whenever I'm teaching an animation course, uh, we start off with this exercise and it's simply called dots. And technically it is one of the hardest ways to animate, but I always start teaching this way. And the reason I like to do this, um, it makes sense uh, to get people so they're not afraid of the software. So let's go ahead and turn on. Where is this? You're actually watching me do a lot. Okay, that's on. Um, all right. Now, what I want to do, this is called straight ahead or straight on animation. And what I'm going to do is grab my paintbrush. Uh, if you noticed at the very beginning, I am working at 720p and I'm working at uh, what's a standard for me. I work at 15 frames a second usually. So, okay, I've got my paintbrush. Let's go to tool properties and let me find a decent brush here. Hmm. Yeah, that one's good. Uh, and I've got this at 15, 5, up to 45. Uh, I wanted to have a nice brush to play around with and pretty much I can get some nice thick lines there uh, what I want to do I'm gonna have my actually I don't think I need my animate button on for this right now drawing layer one I'm gonna simply call this dot one underscore one and what I want to show you is a simple little thing. We're going to have a dot on one side of the screen. So let's draw a little dot here. And eventually, hopefully by frame 60, he's going to get to the other side of the screen. Now, it would be very boring to just have him go from one side to the other. And quite frankly, having him just go from one side to the other is not animation. Uh, that's more of motion graphics. Animation is actually making you believe that this thing is alive. So let's show you how 
I go about doing that. A um, couple of things I want to tell you before we start. So we got this little dot and we're going to have it move around just randomly on the page. Uh, and to actually make the dot look like it's moving slower on each frame, we would make it make another dot closer and closer. Uh, I'm drawing these all together right now. To make it look faster, we would actually start um, spreading them apart. And to make it go really fast, we'd actually just do like a little line or something like that with a dot of this there. And then it would actually maybe stop. And then again, start going slow again. Now, each one of these would represent a separate frame. So frame one, two, three, four, and so on and so on. So that being said, I'm going to select all these, delete them, and let's start from the beginning. Now, I apologize if you already know all this. Uh, I mainly said all that, so it's for the people who don't know that. So I'm going to turn on my onion skin and draw our simple dot. And now on my keyboard, uh, you have the less than and greater than keys. Um, right next to the M and N. Technically, it's the comma and the period, but it's the less than and greater than you think of it as they're kind of pointing in the direction you want to go in your timeline. So I've drawn the dot. I'm going to click one now, and I've moved ahead one frame. So now I can see what the previous frame was because I had the onion skin on. And I'm going to draw another dot, another one, and another one, and another one. Now, if you remember what I said, we can start spacing this out uh, because I want this to speed up a little bit and maybe start slowing down around here really slow like maybe he's going in a circle or something starting to speed back up spacing him out and maybe I'm gonna have him go really fast at this point and so I'm almost to this point uh, getting to the end almost too quick I'm going to undo that one I don't like that one and I'm just using my less than and greater than keys. Even I'm going to jump out of the frame here. Okay, so that is our little dot. And now if I click on play, I'm going to turn on my loop hit play all right not bad uh, if I had one thing to critique I'd probably say I'd want that little line there to actually be not as thick so you can kinda go back in and let's zoom in here and I can erase part of this so it does it look so horsey. Okay, there you go. And now let's zoom back out. I'm not that far. Yeah, that's a lot better. So let's stop this. Play it again. All right, not bad. And you know what? Dude's okay, but I think he's lonely. Let's give him a friend. So we'll make another drawing layer. And we'll call it something complicated like, I don't know, dot two. All right, dot two, uh, let's make them red. 
So what is dot two going to do? Maybe dot two starts about right here. And so we're going to start going frame by frame. And what I'm doing is kind of having this one kind of chase it, maybe circle it a little bit. And since this other one did that little quick dodge, maybe the next frame Our little character does something like that as well. And because we know that we can't have it looking horsey, we'll taper the end of this one a little bit. Um, and by the way, I'm using a stylus right now, so I'm just flipping my pen upside down. But if you don't have that, just simply go to the eraser tool. All right. All right, let's uh, zoom back out. All right, next frame. Whoa, next frame. Next frame. Now, one thing I have not done is turned on my onion skin for my top layer here that I'm working on. So I want to make sure that I'm doing that. OK. And the next frame, next, next, next. So this is actually a lot easier to follow now. All right, so maybe this is where we're going to end this. So let's go ahead and play these together. So we've got this little dot aerial dogfight kind of thing going. And the important part is, are you saying are these flies? What are they? Well, the important thing is, does the animation work? Uh, do they look alive? Is it more than just little dots moving around? And again, this is the thing that I love to uh, start off teaching because it gets you used to moving around in the software and you're like, hey, wait a minute, I just made something. This is kind of cool. So try this out. Have some fun with it. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.